Hello and welcome back, my name is Dave and I'm your host for today with this little classic of the two series, Little Britain, starring David Williams and Matt Lucas. Now this is a comedy sketch uh, by the two, uh, narrated by Tom Baker and the composer of the music is David Arnold. It's one of these UK sort of series. Um, apparently it's got three series but I've only got two at the moment, I don't know where the third one is. I don't know if I actually got the third one but I'll do that another time. 36 episodes in total, running of each is 30 minutes. The BBC is the producers of it, and originally networks were BBC Radio 4, BBC 3, and BBC 1. Uh, the original release date was August 2000, and to the uh, February 2002 on the radio, and 9th of February 2003 to 1st of January 2007 for the TV series. Now, yeah, because this is a nice little sketch on the uh, of each sort of interval individual character sort of thing so you've got a uh, multiple of different sort of aspects and different sort of personalities and different sort of voice actings clothing department scripts the amount of hard work these lads had to go through to do all these sort of characters is unbelievably incredible um, the sketch compromises of uh, extragulated prodigies of British people from all walks of life in various situations from into the British people itself the sketches were presented to the viewer uh, together with narration in a manner which suggests that the program is in guide aimed at non-British people to the ways of life of various classes of British society. Uh, despite the narrator's description of great British institutions, the comedy is de derived from the British audience itself, depreciating understanding either themselves or people known to them. The catchphrase, Little Britain, Little Britain, uh, refers to the um, uninterested and uh, mid mindset of them displayed by the man and shows of subjects. The show was also a huge rate of success 5.9 million people, which is absolutely a standing amount of people. Absolutely amazing. I love the boxes of this. The boxes are absolutely genius. As always, they put hard work into what they do, and you can really see it. Really, absolutely 100 see it. It's very British, very amazing what they got here. Got Vicky Pollard at the top there, who has a, was it seven kids or something with another one on the way, was it? I think something like that, six kids, another one on the way. There's a lot of writing on this, so uh, it won't take too long. The funniest sketch show in years, this will turn Lucas and Williams into major TV comedy stars. Uh, take a journey to around Little Britain and meet all your favourite characters, including Vicky Pollard, uh, No But Yeah But No, Daffy Thomas, who claims to be doing gay in his village, Sebastian Lowe, uh, the government aide, with a mad crush on Prime Minister, evil fat fighters course leader, uh, Manjoa Dawes, uh, rubbish transvestite Emily Howard, I'm a lady, and of course puts up on helper Lou and his wheelchair bound friend Andy, which is Lou, it's like Lou and Andy, yep. Uh, but um, and of course, uh, yeah, 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 but he doesn't really know. He does, but does he really know he needs the wheelchair or? I don't know. He, it's like when um, Lou looks away and go and get some sweets or something. Andy would just get out of the wheelchair, walk over to someone, and punch them in the face. Then sit back down, just as Lou turns around and says. Like, so here you go, have this, Andy, or something, or, did, oh, that poor guy's fell over, I wonder what happened. And he's like, oh, no, no, that sort of thing. Very, really funny comedy, really good. And the second series is just as funny as the first, of course, gets more characters this time, which is outstanding. The, the way they portray each one is a genius, absolute genius. And the lady with a moustache, which is just about you see in there. Of course, it's gets even funnier. I reckon. I reckon this is funnier series. It gets better because when they get into the flow of things, you can really tell because you get more fluidity. Um, they're more open. Uh, the script becomes more funnier. Um, more humor is put into it. Yeah. Um, yeah. More characters seem to reappear from the first series along with some new ones, which is really nice. Uh, Vicky Pollard, Emily Howard, David Thomas, Sebastian Lowe, Majora Duvals. And Lou and, all, and Andy all return in this second series, Lil Brin. They're joined by a host of new characters, Bubbles, Dev, Carol, Computer Says No, Beer, 
uh, Judy and Maggie and Harvey Bissy Pincher who has an unusual strong attachment to his mother yes uh, Harvey yeah he likes to suck on mum's boobs basically for just pleasure I think and of course the mother gets a kick out of it which is very over sexualized to think I think it's something not I don't think it should have really been put into this but it is funny if you, you got the adult sort of humor uh, and mindset this is too serious it definitely will go down your street uh, very um very good actually Little Britain is also set in many fictional fictional towns and cities in Britain uh, you know, a couple of them are uh, Darkly Noon which is Vicky Pollard uh, the Rookery Cafe which is Ruth and her mother uh, Ray Macuni is in Edinburgh or Glasgow they can't seem to decide which one they're in. Uh, 10 Down Street, which of course is Prime Minister Michael. Old Haven, Emily uh, Howard. Uh, Eddie, Emily Howard. Florence and Vic. Herbie is Lou Todd and Andy Pitkin. Uh, Pox is Maggie Blackmore and Judy Pike. Flange is Kelsey Grammar School, where tomorrow adults and or children are harvested. Torby is Kenny Craig and Kathy. And you've got a place called Slut, which is Letty Bell. And Throttle, which is Michael Dinner. So a few uh, random little places chucked in there, you know. No, overall, the very, very uh, good and very exciting sort of thing. And um, I do... I watched these again a couple of years ago, and I, I think... Uh, what was they? It, it was a... 2005 for the first series. And oh, turn five for the second series. Uh, yeah, okay, we we'll take that. Uh, basically, around 2005, so just over um, 11 years old, 12 years old. Um, just not so on side. But no, rather good two series. I will review the third one when I get a chance in another time. So until then, people, thank you for watching. Please tick off that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below which of these episodes of these fine series that you enjoyed the most. I would like to know. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.